Okay, so right now I'm looking at the uh, Mac App Store, and you can go in, even as an unregistered Apple developer, there you go, and uh, go download the uh, the very latest version of uh, Xcode by just typing in the uh, the Get button. Uh, that uh, that didn't used to be the case. It's kind of nice that uh, all of Xcode is now in the, uh, the Mac App Store. And uh, after you do that, and by the way, you do need to be on a Mac, uh, you'll be able to open it up. And this is a project that I've already got open. Let's just go right here to File, New. We're going to go to uh, Project. And what I tend to do with naming these, so I'm going to go over here to Sticker Pack Application. Uh, this is the, a project where we don't have to write any code in at all. So again, like I was saying before, you just basically drop in your... Uh, your animated sequences, uh, but uh, naming your your product, um, I mean, you can really kind of name it anything you want. But uh, what I tend to do is uh, give it a lowercase name of um, the uh, bundle identifier that uh, I've set up in iTunes Connect. Now I, I lost a lot of you there. I know it, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll kind of loop back to that later on. But so typically, what I would do is I would say something like, um, you know called totally free stickers right okay so maybe my name for the app in the store was totally free stickers okay now that's just the display name of it and you can actually change it over time but uh, the every app has a basically a bundle identifier or kind of a product ID and usually what people do is they just go all lowercase for that no space, you can't do any spaces in it. So it looks like that, all right? So usually with, with my Xcode project, just to kind of keep things simple, I just give the product name, what my bundle identifier is gonna be later, and you can see actually that um, gives you a little preview down here that um, the, the kind of full bundle identifier is actually your organization name, com.cartoonsmart. They just recommend that you do the reverse of your domain, and then followed by whatever that is. So if you kind of get this set up early on, it, it's, it, it just cuts down on, you know, uh, just one step later. But uh, again, that's just, hey, you can, you can rename it anything you want at a later date. So anyway, let's, uh, let's just save this out. I'm going to throw it to the desktop. And uh, a couple of quick things here. Your display name, this is the, uh, the name underneath uh, the icon um, on the person's phone. So you don't want to go too long here. It's just going to get cut off a little dot, dot, dot. So what you might want to do is... Um, you know, call it something like totes free, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to turn into a valley girl. Uh, and, uh, and then like I was saying before, if you did if you did need to change your bundle ID after the fact, what you're going to want to do is uh, just do it right here. Okay, so this is the part you're, you're typically going to change um, to match it up to whatever you, you put in your bundle ID uh, in the store. And obviously, uh, just... If you, if you need to know more about that, we're going to have a video on it, and I'll name it something like Bundle ID, okay? Uh, but uh, those are the two places that you can make that uh, quick little change. And then uh, otherwise, there's nothing you really have to do in any of these tabs. Um, it's signing, uh, the, you're just going to click off Automatically Manage Signing, and uh, you are going to need to um, basically generate some kind of signing certificates, but uh, Xcode is smart enough now, it's gonna do all that stuff for you. So really, just as long as you've got a, a, a paid developer account, uh, Xcode it will take care of that. And it might just give you a couple prompts that say like, oh, I, don't, I see you don't have a signing certificate, let me go ahead and generate one for you. All right, so let's get to the, uh, actually dropping in some stickers. And uh, there's just really kind of two areas here. Uh, one is going to be your um, your iMessage app icon. You can see that it's telling you these kind of specific sizes that it wants for all these different things. And I suppose we could even do a video on um, uh, setting up the uh, actions in Photoshop that I use to just export out all these uh, at once. Um, and uh, so basically, just you just take like a large image and you um, you export it out at uh, so. 2x times 29 is 58 by 58, so that's what it wants for this file size. And then 3x is um, three times that, obviously. 
I, I can't do the math on that. <laughs> Don't make me go <laughs> add one more time to 58. Uh, so the same thing is going to be true for all these little icons. They do ask for a lot. Uh, again, this is a drag and drop thing. And then, all right, so here's our actual sticker pack. And uh, you can see that we don't have any stickers in here right now. So you could just drag in um, still images into here. All right. Uh, or what you can do is hit the plus sign and go over here to uh, new sticker sequence. And then from that point, just drag in your, um, your animated frames into uh, this little box. So I guess I should show you guys how that works. Okay, so we've got uh, four frames over here. And actually, let me just kind of preview them for you. They're um, they're set to be uh, 408 by 408 in size. That's one of the size options. You can either do 300 by 300, and the other one is uh, I'll have to look it up uh, six something. But uh, I, I I think you you're either going to want to go with that smaller 300 by 300 or the 408 by 408 size, uh, unless you just really have a reason for it to be super big. Uh, but again, the, uh, the file size is kind of an issue. Okay, so you got to keep it under a certain size, and um, and there you go. That's what it would look like. So this is probably the, the simplest way of uh, getting a sticker in here. Um, well, I guess maybe the other simpler one is just dragging it in uh, to this little area right here if it's if it's not animated. But here you go. We've got an animated one, and I'm going to stop it for a second. You'll notice too that if you go over here, let's just click on one of the frames. Uh, you can. Um, you, you have some settings over here, so the repetition's uh, set to infinite, uh, and then the uh, the fixed frame rate, so it's at 15 frames per second. If you did want to speed that up, you could go to uh, 30 frames per second. You'd probably notice a difference. Whoa, that guy's definitely going a lot faster. What about one frame a second? Let's see what happens then. Certainly a lot slower. Uh, and uh, if you didn't want to go with the, uh, the frame rate, uh, you could go over here to a fixed length, and again, we'll set this to be like two seconds and it's going to seem very slow. All right. Oh, that is definitely slowed down. All right. And uh, option wise, that's uh, that's pretty much all there is um, for these guys. Uh, and again, if you want to, if, uh, so like I said, this is the 408 by 408 size for each of these images. And uh, that means it's set to medium sticker size over here. Uh, you can set it to small. What I found though is that um, I could put in a 300 by 300 image in here. It's not going to cause a problem if you have a little mix of the, the different uh, sizes. Uh, so really kind of, yeah, if, if you just keep it at one of those two sizes, I think you are pretty good. And uh, if you kind of wanted to, like, let's say skip to the end, um, you could, I mean, this, like I said, there's no programming here, all right? So you could actually um, archive this, and that means you're going to get it ready for delivery to, um, to Apple. So, I mean, I'll just, I'll just hit on it. And uh, I don't actually have a, um, a bundle ID up on the set up an iTunes Connect uh, for the, that totally free stickers. But, uh, but if I did, I could just click over here, upload to App Store, and um, there's just a couple things you just click yes on, and it, it would go to the store, and uh, it would be an iTunes Connect under your app listing for totally free stickers or whatever it is your title is. Uh, and you're, you know, then from that point on, you're just putting in some metadata, uh, things like the title, your screenshots, and things like that, uh, to uh, to submit to Apple. And of course, that's that's going to be a whole uh, different video. Uh, we'll start, uh, you know, one just about uh, iTunes Connect. Uh, so you kind of, I, I guess, you really do need to watch these um, together to get a full sense of what's going on. And it, and it is it is kind of a which came first, a chicken or the egg situation. You know, do you do you go and you make the app listing first, so you already have your bundle ID, or do you make your Xcode project first? I would say it's always a good idea to um, to at least go on the iTunes Connect and 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 um, you know you find a, an available app title, you know, uh, and then from that you can generate your bundle ID and then go back into your Xcode project. So when I was making sticker packs, I, you know, I spent like a day just going through and thinking of app titles that I thought I might use, and I just spent the whole day, day basically in iTunes Connect making. Um, listing names. So um, let's uh, let's do that. Let's make that video. And then again, it's one of those situations where you can choose which, which to watch first, right?